Hi guys, Bleach here. Today we're working on the snapper. I might have to jump in on the start with my jump pack. It's like a smart one. Off the key switch to the on position and it drained the battery. I'm ever so happy. Or it could have further problems wrong with it. So, so nice. So right now I'm installing a fuel, a fuel shut off. I'm going to change the oil. It's got one of those weird drain plugs on it where you have to push it and twist it and all sorts of fun stuff. And we're also uh, sharpening the blades on it. Basically, I'm going to reach right through there where that gap is and uh, hit it with my grinder. So this is going to be a fun video. I can't get it running. I'll use the MTD and hope the belt don't snap. Hi guys, we're back. I uh, put a little gas in there. going to see if it leaks. I don't have any clips because they're... There was two in an auction of these for six bucks of the clips, and they were in China. And I didn't want to spend any more money than it, so I spent like four bucks on this, and hopefully it doesn't leak. It may leak over time. Let's see here. Alright. Let's see. Awesome, it doesn't leak. Fills right up with gas. Cool. See you soon. Alright, we're back. I'm very frustrated. My mom's out here. She's telling me to be quiet. Stop swearing. I mad because I left the key switch on. I never had a tractor do that before where the key switch got left on and the battery died. None of the ones I've ever had done that before. I've seen it done in videos. So what's great about this thing is you have to take the seat off to charge the battery or you have to, unlike the MTD, which you can just lift up the seat and you can jump it or charge it. But I'm hoping I can hit the starter on this thing and uh, jump it and get it to run and um, probably wind up hitting something since it just moves in neutral. So I have to do it out in the open and get on it. And I hope, uh, or maybe I'll just let it um, waste some gas and charge the battery. So right now I'm going to sharpen the blades and hope I don't set my clothes on fire. That would be make a, a viral video, guys, if I set my clothes on fire. Alright, be careful, guys. Just be careful. Right there, see the blade. It's a little rusty. This little corner. Well, I'm such an idiot, guys. I'm about to put a block in front of the blade. Awesome, huh? Try it again. Now what you want to do is uh, damage the side of the deck when you do this, like I'm doing now. I don't want to lift this thing because my back hurts. It really hurts, guys. Not doing so well. I don't care. Someday I'll do it better and lift it. So you get the general idea, guys. Let's see if I can change the oil on this beast. Alright, guys, we're back. It's good to uh, take the uh, cap off there so it can get some air to drain. There you go. It's like watching paint dry, guys. How exciting. I don't know. I'll try to give you some kind of video, guys. You've seen people do this stuff before, you've done it before. Or maybe you're just watching me because you're trying to learn something. Um, and I'm learning with you guys. So let's see how this thing goes. Maybe I can just uh, jump start on the battery. Clip it. 
to the uh, deck or something and try to start it. I put the gear on upside down too. Um, January Man 169 said put some grease on the starter. He says you have to take this off. I had a heck of a time getting it on there. I cut my fingers. So all I'm going to do is just lift up this gear, put grease, squirt some grease under there, and put some in there. Ah, oh, it's a mouthful. Alright, we're back guys. The oil's still peeing out of there. It's dripping, dripping. Maybe the, the mower's got a bladder infection. I don't know guys. Why did I say that? But, um, we have plans to, uh, take the rear engine stamper part, the first one I have, and, uh, maybe fix it. And I'm gonna put the engine on there. It was originally on there. Rebuild the carburetor. It's around here somewhere, rusting in the garage. No, I'm kidding. It's under the workbench. I'm gonna have that done. I'm gonna let a good engine rust. Maybe I would. But, um, I'm gonna get a chain for it. I'm gonna order one next month. And, uh, hope to put it on. One without a link. It could need some bushings or something. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll do a full rebuild video. Maybe we'll beat Chris Mandel. Um, drill to it. Because he's not been doing his. And he got to put a washer in. Um, the Simplicity tractor gonna take out there and test drive. And I hope it doesn't stall out with, when I drive it with what I did to it. Tire's still flat on the right. Fix it flat. Just pump it up temporarily. I'll have the mechanic do a tube down the road if he's still interested in doing stuff for me. It's kind of rude about fixing the Snapper LT11 and said his welder's broke. We may have a fix for that. I may be able to fix that. Um, the, uh, the, the free snow blower, i got to find an engine for that. The neighbor might have one over there. We might find it while we're cleaning up his yard and taking care of stuff. Always over there helping them clean, maybe helping them lose some weight because I'm getting fat and eating too many hamburgers and hot dogs. And I love me chips. But we'll, we'll stay tuned, guys. I'll figure some stuff out. I may have to use the MTD if I can uh, get this thing running and jump it. But see you soon, guys. Hold on, guys. Oh, the real mower. I gotta adjust the points on there to get it running. It don't cut grass. It probably needs the blades adjusted on it or something. I gotta find that uh, information that guy sent me about it in my email. How to do that. Stay tuned, guys. That's what the oil looks like to it. And look! I can see myself in the oil! Oh, how nice! Hi, I can see myself. Oh, oh, there I am. I can see myself in the oil. Alright, guys, that's what the oil looks like. You've seen oil before. I don't know why I'm showing you this. I'm just. Alright, guys, we're back. This thing's charging. It's charging. For some reason, it says that it's fully charged on the thing. My battery charge. Charger's a little funny, and so are these Walmart batteries when it's not charged. Uh, I had an issue with the starter, got stuck, and ran continuously. I hope that's not a problem where it drained the battery. So I don't have time to mess around. It's going to rain. hope the neighbor gets back in time so I can mow his before it rains. And I'm going to use the good old MTD. And hope the belt don't break. I may have a lead on a transmission belt. I think I found a manual. It says it's one half, uh, 5 eighths by 48 inch of the transmission. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to get the model number off of it. It should be right there. On the seat, I can't pull that off that little strip because it'll pull that two off there. So yeah, oh maybe it won't matter. There's the model number right there, so I gotta see what I can find out in the belt. See you soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my frustration with these mowers and the ongoing saga of them. Take care, guys. Bye.